Hey everyone, this is Sadia and welcome back to another video on my channel. And in this video, I will be sharing some tips and tricks that you can use in order to become more attractive. Now, one disclaimer. I will, I will not be sharing any grooming tips. I will not share what kind of clothes you should wear or what kind of perfume you should wear. No, I will not be sharing all of those. I... Although I do agree a little bit that the way you present yourself that does have a small impact on the other person, but that is not it. I believe your personality speaks volumes. I believe that your personality has a lot more impact on the other person that will help you in making a lasting impression on the other person. So I will be sharing some personality tips. Also one more thing. Not everyone is going to like you and you cannot make everyone like you. So please do remember that. The whole purpose of this video is to help you in learning some interpersonal skills, in helping you master some people skills. So that is the whole purpose of this video. Also one more disclaimer, I am no expert. I just did a lot of research and I also read a lot of books if you guys know. And these are a couple of things that have worked out for me. So I thought of making a video out of it and I really hope this turns out helpful to you all and yeah, having said that, let's just begin with the video. Number one, remember names and pronounce names correctly. I have read it in a book that a name is the most precious thing to someone. If you remember someone's name and you take their name while communicating to them, be it in person or be it in messages, it will definitely make an impact. I have personally experienced it a couple of times too when someone, someone senior in my company remembers my name and talks to me by taking my name. It just makes me like that person even more. So remember names correctly and also pronounce their names correctly. If you do not know how to pronounce someone's name, politely ask them for the correct pronunciation and remember that pronunciation. So do not pronounce someone's name incorrectly. That will just put you in bad light. Now this one is a tricky one. Try to have a sense of humor, but also read the room. If the other person is not comfortable with your jokes, stop it right there. You do not need to be the chandler of the group. This is the funda of my life. I treat people the way they treat me. So for example, if the other person is joking around with me, so I also joke around with the person. But if the other person is keeping it light, I will keep it the same way from my end too. I, I do not cross a line. Having said that, having a light sense of humor is always appreciable. I mean, we all love people who are funny. So try to have a sense of humor, but also do not be disrespectful to the other person. Tip number three is smile. A lot of times you do not even need to communicate with the other person or you do not even need to crack jokes or anything. All you need to do is smile to make an impact on the other person. And by smile, I mean a genuine smile and not the creepy one, if you know what I mean. Tip number four, be a good listener. When someone is talking to you, make sure you're listening to them and ask them questions. When you ask them questions, it makes them feel important and it shows that you're interested in knowing them more. So ask questions. Appreciate or compliment others. Whenever you meet someone, try to compliment them on anything small, be it what they're wearing or their smile or their work. When you compliment others, it shows that you're so confident in yourself that you are appreciating others, you are able to see the best in others. So do compliment others. Positive body language. Now what that means is you should have a straight body posture and also try to maintain a good eye contact. Now this is something that I am also working on and it is work in progress, but I have read it in couple of books and also online pages that maintaining a good eye contact is so instrumental in creating a long lasting impression on someone. Be honest. Do not be a people pleaser. What I mean by this is if you're not okay with what the other person is doing, be honest, be true to yourself and do not indulge in it. Come out of it. I absolutely hate people pleasers. If you're someone who just wants to make the other person happy all the time 
and if it doesn't align with your values but still you want to do it just because you want to keep the other person happy you are bound to be the saddest person on earth so please be honest to yourself and do not be a people pleaser at all respect the other person don't just keep talking about yourself when you're talking to someone and you're the only person who's talking and the other person is just listening then no there is a problem try to indulge the other person in the conversation try to ask them questions if you're the kind of person who just keeps talking and keeps bragging about yourself you're not going to be liked by anyone i have been a part of couple of friend groups and i know for a fact that the person who is hated the most is always the person who keeps bragging about themselves so do not be that person i read it somewhere that if someone has achieved a nobel prize they will not go around telling people that they have achieved the nobel prize instead people will already know it and people will talk about it the nobel prize winner does not have to go around talking about it so do not be that person be humble do not brag about yourself and try to indulge others also in the conversation and that is it for today's video i really hope you all found this video helpful make sure to comment down your favorite tip from the video i will be very happy to read all of your comments also like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time bye